guys. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, welcome to everyone who's coming on now. Thank you for showing up. Hey, you can check out how dreary and awful our day looks today. Pretty rainy out. Apparently it's supposed to be big rains for the next little while. Hey guys. If you have um, never joined me before, my name is Keely. I'm the owner of lovehoodadventure.com and I blog about marriage. Uh, the marriage relationship, how to have a better relationship with your spouse, how to be more intimate, um, and I also do some lifestyle posts as well. Let me kind of move this thing down a little bit. I don't feel like it's positioned right today. Sorry. So I wanted to ask you a question. Do you think that romantic dinners for two is something that only happens in the movies, or is there a way to kind of do that with your spouse um, here in the real world? And I can, I can honestly tell you that I, I can remember one really, really romantic meal with my husband, um, and that was on our wedding day. We sat in the cellar, like the wine cellar of this really awesome restaurant, and I loved it. And it was pretty secluded from the rest of the dining room, and it was, it was beautiful and wonderful and memorable. And I would say that that is probably the one romantic dinner we really had. I can't remember though figuring out how to do romantic meals together after that. Um, and I think that what it takes to have a romantic dinner with your spouse is just something out of the ordinary. And I think I see this on movies all the time. Uh, people will go out to dinner, they're out having a nice romantic candlelit dinner, but here's the problem with doing that in the restaurant. You gotta be really careful what you're talking about because you don't want all the wait staff and the couple at the table next to you, you don't want them listening in on your private conversations. And so I have been out on dates with my husband and we have um, entered into some of those discussions and it's like, oh wait, we need to stop, wait until we get in the car. Um, so it's kind of difficult to have a romantic meal when you've got an audience around you and you have to be super careful what you talk about. Um, and here at our house, I've really struggled with how to make that happen. I cook dinner every night for the most part. Our family eats together. Uh, so it's not very often that we're not eating with our kids. We like that family time with them. Um, but usually on Sunday nights, we end up eating together. That's just something that has happened for us. A lot of it has to do with the fact that we eat a really big meal on Sunday afternoon and we feed our kids a little light dinner, but neither one of us are hungry uh, before they go to bed. So, if anything, we have had our dinners for two on Sunday nights, but typically we just get something and sit down in front of the TV. Uh, occasionally, I think we have tried to sit at the table and stuff, but it just, it seems kind of out of place because well, this is where we have dinner with our family, with our kids. We're not even facing each other at a typical table. He's going to look this way, I'm going to look this way, and it's really hard to engage as much um, in that kind of setup. So in probably the last year, we have made this purchase, a really awesome purchase, of a high top table, and I want to show it to you. I'm sure I've shown it to you guys before on the scope, but I'm going to get my tripod out of the way and I'm going to show you this table let me put my camera around All right, this is our high top table obviously you can see there are two chairs and it's really just big enough for the two of us I really love this table by the way and we have been in the market for one of these for I don't even know forever I mean really I feel like at least eight years I have always wanted to have a bistro table but never afford one. So ever since we got our bistro table, we actually like limited this table to just be for my husband and myself. We do not let our kids get up here. I have three boys and bless their little hearts. They will try to get up here at this table and like pull the whole table down. We don't want them to break it. It's glass. Um, and I think in a way we maybe felt a little bit guilty that we were uh, saying to them, hey, this is a piece of furniture in our house that doesn't belong to you. And we've kind of done that to our bedroom. Our bedroom is an off-limit space to them too. They can't just come in without permission and hang around. 
Um, but out here in the house, it was kind of weird for me to say, you know, and not feel guilty about it, this is a space for just mom and dad. And ever since we did that, we make that rule, uh, my husband and I can sit at this table, we can have a lot of conversations with each other, it's our space to be, we can look at each other while we're talking, and I tell you, it's made romantic dinner so much more possible because we can look at each other, um, and I don't know if you saw these lights, I'm going to try and show them to you. You probably didn't see these lights because they're not on. I have uh, lights hanging here right now. This isn't always like this, by the way. These are just red lights that I had set out for Valentine's. Um, and so we don't always have those out here, but I do have some other lights hanging out in the house. And I have this space on this table to put out some candles. Uh, we can definitely dim the lights and we can make this space really awesome for each other. Uh, I think that because we have this table now, it's made romantic dinners actually take place. Um, we can actually do it. We have time to do it now. Um, we have more time on Sunday evenings to sit down together, to cook a meal that's nice and eat it together. And even if I didn't choose to cook a meal, we could go get something and come back and be able to have private conversations uh, with one another. So I would say that it's taken us a long time. I've been married for 12 years and I don't feel like we had very much success figuring out how to do romantic dinners up until recently. Um, and I think everybody has a different idea of what ro a romantic dinner entails, but for me it is definitely one-on-one um, -on -one communication with my husband. I want to have conversations that are out of the normal. I don't want to talk about our day. I don't want to talk about our kids. I want to talk about us and reconnect and bond as a couple. And if that means we talk about intimate issues like what's going on in our sex life, or if we talk about um, other things, you know, just that we love about one another, that's what we want to focus on during a romantic meal. Also, looking at each other, that's pretty important too. And like I said, up until now, I really haven't had the setup to do that. A card table could probably work just as well uh, as my bistro table if you had something you could set it up each time uh, depending on your home and then of course low lighting and that doesn't always happen in restaurants uh, maybe they do have the lights dimmed a little bit but not that low and I don't have an audience so that's really pretty important too I think we've had a lot of successful romantic dates um, and dinners so if you have no plans for this weekend and you're looking for some way to connect with your spouse, definitely consider having a romantic dinner at home. Um, figure out a way to get those elements into it. Put the kids to bed, come up with a meal, find a good place to sit down together, uh, cut the lights down low, light some candles, and just discuss uh, things that are important to your relationship and your marriage. Um, and then follow it up with physical intimacy. That's like the best part of having any romantic evening is um, just going and connecting on a physical level. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. I'm glad you all showed up on this dreary Friday. At least it is here in the South. I hope to catch you guys on Monday. And if you want to find out what I'm blogging about, go over to lovehopeadventure.com. And again, my name is Keely. I look forward to seeing you guys on Monday.